from the chair. Our legs are warmed up, our shoulders are warmed up, we're all loose. So I'd like you to take your left leg, put it on your knee. Now, and stimulate the little neurons in your feet because so many people lose the circulation in their toes, especially when they're aging. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to come back as a foot going in a sock and a shoe for the rest of my life. So this is a time to honor your feet, doing a little passive tickling so that all the little capillaries and the neuronal pathways are going to the brain. And if you can't reach your feet? Everybody, take a strap. You lift a strap up. your hips are bad, for example. I have I, I've not had one person not do it. Okay. They will do show, it. Take, show, can you show us for the strap how we would do yeah. it? Yeah. Um, there's always an adaptation. I have a woman that's probably 300 pounds that's all arthritic, and she's doing it now. We just don't take no for an answer. <laughs> so if, if somebody's having a hard time, they, they can do this and get it right up there and hold it like that. Because you see, if you, our feet really need to be stimulated, and they should have this nice massage mm -hmm. every day to stimulate. And so many people are getting neuropathy, and I've had two people in the class too that say the neuropathy's gone. So, mm. so that's great. So, and when you're ready, keep your foot up here, taking your same side hand, putting it up under your ankle, and rotate your hip. We're getting to all those ligaments the ones that you haven't found for a long time. Mm -hmm. They're in your hip. Everybody can do this. Release to your lap. Great, take that same side hand, put it on your heel, and you lift up. Now the people side hand. turn it oh, around, yeah. and you want to lift it up, and you're opening up your hamstrings. For people who have tight hamstrings, you just pump it like this. Only go to where it doesn't hurt. And many people say their arms aren't long enough, but they are. So it's just the tight. Like an eighty-year-old person can do oh, this. Oh yes, that? we've got older people than eighty. Dick does it. Okay, so they all do it, and then I joke with new people who come to class and release, and then bring it down. New people, I tell them they have to put it around their neck, <laughs> jokingly, so it gets a laugh. And then we'll do the other side, so you don't go out lopsided. Lifting up, stimulating all those neurons, and the neurons go like electricity to your brain. And if your brain hasn't felt this for a long time, you lose sensation in your feet. So this is a wonderful thing to do for yourself when you're sitting in a chair watching TV. It's very mm -hmm. easy, or you can do it for your partner. Mm -hmm. So take that same side hand with the palms facing up, bring it under your ankle, lift the leg up, and rotate all those, I call them ligaments. Mm -hmm. You know, all the ones that are in there, the fibers are working, breathing into it, opening up. And release to your lap. Take that same side hand. Put, put it on your knee, please. Put your foot on your knee. Okay. Take that same side hand. Very good. Inside. Turn it around. The, okay. Inside your uh, arch. Like okay. There you go. And lift. Up, hold and breathe. Put it around your neck if you can. I'm <laughs> joking. I don't know anyone that can do that. And you can pump your leg in and out, so the hamstrings, tight hamstrings. As you can feel right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are the, the things that make, you, make it difficult for you to bend over and release down. Tight hamstrings create very bad backs. Mm -hmm. People have, so it creates uh, strength in your back. Great.